Hi, I will start a new long series about Joseki. I will use the rating given by Golasi, which is the latest AI, and also my knowledge from the traditional viewpoint to analyze different Joseki choices. The first topic I'm going to do is the once bay pinza of star. The reason why I would like to do this Joseki is basically because I like it. But if you are familiar with the AI, you may know that pinza is not a very recommended move. For AI, the knight move would be the first choice, also with the kick. Also, AI also love to play a tenuki to play something like the free free invasion and let black to play a double approach. So these are AI first choice and pinza it is not the first choice of AI. So why I like to play the pinza move. First, this move could help prevent black to develop the edge and the bottom right corner. For example, if you play the knight move, then black may play this attach and form a Joseki here. Later, if black play a band, then black could develop the edge here. Of course, you may play something like this, but this move did not have any points. And similarly, if you play the kick, black could also develop the edge here and also to expand the bottom right corner. So the pincer could easily prevent the opponents to develop the edge. And the second reason, people usually will play the free free innovation here and I could easily get an influence by this Joseki. I personally like influence, so I like to play this one space pincer and like this Joseki. In my experience, most of my opponents will play this invasion. But actually, this free free invasion is not recommended by AI, at least at this moment, at this situation. This move will deduct around 5% of win rate. A 5% of win rate, you may argue is not a big number or you may think it's a big number. That depends on how you look into it, but at least we could have a conclusion that White could get a satisfied result by playing this Joseki. So, I like to play the one space pincer and I would like to explore more about the variation about around the one space pincer and I would like to share my research with all of you. The next thing I need to explain is that why we play the one space pincer. If we want to destroy the edge or to attack this uh, approach stone, we may also play other pincer. This one space high pincer or the two space low pincer. Before the AI, the two space low pincer was once popular. I think around 2010 something. There are many players in the Korea or in China play this two space low pincer. But why we now seldom see professional players play this kind of draw the kit again is because AI improved the original draw the kit by white playing at this point instead of the connect. So after this improvement, we could easily see that this is the best position of the pincer. Much better than here, or here, or here. For example, if you play the high pincer, then obviously there would be a jump here, right? This is a very obvious defect. Even if this at this point, which is the two space low pincer, Still, this attach would be quite effective and quite uncomfortable for the 
white stones. So the one space low pincer will survive and other pincer is disappeared. Except the free space high pincer. If you want a long way pincer, the free space high pincer will be your choice. This pincer is a move hope for stability and thickness. Because if you play the one space low pincer, then black may actually play some counter attack and after black gives some pressure to the corner and getting an influence is possible for black to play a counter attack here. But when your pincer is so far away from the corner, then you don't need to afraid the blackstone try to get an influence and play a counter attack. Because this time this white stone is quite away from the influence and this influence do not give too much pressure to this stone. So white may get a more stable and easy situation. If black choose to get the free free invasion again, then this time White may play one more move to secure at this point. Then White get a very thick influence. Comparing to the one space low pincer, when we play the one space low pincer like this one, then you won't play one more move here, right? Because this would be quite inefficient. White will play something like the approach to expand the edge. So when you play the free space high approach, the efficiency will be a bit slower, but white will become very thick. There is always a cost and exchange. You get the thickness, but in the cost of a center, black could get a center and play elsewhere. So that's all for the introduction. I explained why I would like to play the one space low pincer and why not other pincer. And in the next episode, I will start sharing the variation of the free free invasion then in the future episode we will study the jump the double approach or the repincer this kind of variation so thank you for watching and see you again in the next episode